Today I want to show off my third acoustic horn for making cell phone music louder. Yeah. My first design you've seen in my other videos, the first one was based on a Dustin Pinner design. That What I like about it is that it's very easy to make. The performance is very good and it makes it pretty loud. Uh, perhaps the only drawback is that it's a little bit bright maybe. Uh, lacks a little bit of warmth, but really overall it's not too bad. And just as a refresher, we'll listen to that. So it sounds pretty good. It's a pretty decent horn. Uh, the second one is by someone who goes by MXX on Instructables. And I think it's less easy to build. I thought it was a little fiddly. There's a lot of little pieces on the inside. Um, and if you look at my version of it, it actually is not that attractive because I didn't do a very good job. I used hot glue to put it together. I was kind of in a hurry. I just wanted to see how it would sound. And really overall, I, I think it sounds very good. I think there's a lot of potential here. Um, it's not very loud, but it has a lot of warmth, and it does suffer, uh, in my opinion, a lot of distortion. Uh, for some reason, it's, it seems to sound better on video than it actually does in person, but I'll let you hear that again. And here's my third horn. And it's based on the Dustin Penner design, except the difference here is this one is uh, two levels. It's a folded horn design, so you actually get a much longer horn path, and that gives you a lot more volume, as you'll see. It's also a little more efficient because the opening for the cell phone speaker is very small, whereas the opening here is very large. And... If, I don't know if you probably can't see that, but I can show you close up in a minute. In any case, let's listen to this one, and you'll see that it's significantly louder than the other two, although it does have a few issues. So I believe what's going on here is um, there's a little bit of distortion. It's also kind of bright, a little bit squawky, and to my ears it sounds a little bit like a 1970s transistor radio that <laughs> were also about the size of these cell phones. Oops. The, um, I, th I think I'm getting a little bit of signal of sound waves bouncing around in there because my sound path is not entirely smooth and that does cause a bit of distortion. I think I'm getting a bit of sound reflection off the back wall back into the cell phone which is also causing a little bit of reverb and a little bit of distortion. So I think there's some good ideas here. It just needs a little bit of work. Sixty decibels, sixty two decibels, seventy four decibels.